Okay guys, here's the fixed length. We're going to be doing it on this hose here. Now uh, in SOLIDWORKS 2005, a list of length of this hose, it tells me it's around 22 inches there. 2005, when I move this up and rebuild, it's going to update my hose properly, but it's not going to fix the length there. So you can see that's changed up to 28 uh, inches there. And we'll go ahead and verify once again, back down to 22 something. So now in SOLIDWORKS 2006, I can uh, I have control over my uh, length of that hose, so I can now create a fixed length hose. And maybe we want this to be 32 inches. Go ahead and exit that. SolidWorks gives us a preview of what that's actually going to look like. We'll go ahead and accept that, and then it rebuilds my hose just prop all properly. Now, if I list the length of this, it's 30. I have about a one inch stub on each end of here, so I get a 30 inch. Uh, length in the middle there gives me a total of 32. Now when I move my assembly up, you'll see that it updates my hose. The only thing I have to do at this point in the game is to edit that sketch and hop right back out. And then it's going to list 30 inches right again, so everything is giving me the exact fixed length for my hose.